Welcome to the YouTube video channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. Uh, in this video, I'm going to follow up on a previous video I made about living DNA and why I still cannot recommend this um, DNA, Ancestry DNA testing company based out of the United Kingdom. Um, and the reason is because they, Living DNA, just made available a, um, an update to your um, recent Ancestry results. And I'm going to show you why I still cannot recommend um, Living DNA. I think they have a long way to go. Um, their algorithms um, are still problematic. Um, their, their methodology is suspect. And what I think there is happening is that they, um, they, they needed more refinement in terms of parsing out um, your uh, the, uh, uh, separating your uh, regions, the regions. Um, there's a lot of overlap um, that I think that gets uh, sort of muddled um, in their analysis of your ancestry, your recent ancestry. I think that they're just not very good at separating different regions. And there's a lot of overlapping um, admixture in different regions. And I just think they get it wrong. And I'm sure they're not doing it intentionally. Um, they have good intentions, but I think they, um, I think they just fail <laughs> in, in so many ways. And, and a lot of people are saying that and if you go on the forums on the Facebook group, you're going to see a lot of people sort of just kind of questioning the results because they don't really line up a lot of times with, sometimes they do. I think it's pretty good for people with British Isles ancestry, um, specifically, but, um, other groups, not so much. It just doesn't align with the paper trail with their own genealogy and, um, with other admixture calculators. And now that we have, you know, we kind of have do-it-yourself calculators, mixture models, the global 25 coordinates where people can just really get a lot of refinement and really good distances um, with different um, coordinates uh, for different populations and regions. I just think this is sort of, they really need to up their game, living DNA. And I'm going to show you my, um, my recent, uh, my, up, my update, my, my previous results, my updated results, as well as my parents. And why I just don't think it's very accurate for me. Now, I'm, a, I'm Ashkenazi. Um, you know, that's, that's my genealogy um, for many, many, many ger generations. And uh, fully Ashkenazi, 100% Ashkenazi. So, um, you know, generally uh, Ashkenazi Jews, you see um, sort of a lot of Mediterranean, Southern European, Levantine, Middle Eastern. And a little bit, uh, um, you know, Eastern European. So let's see what they say here. Um, and then also, you know, kind of trace amounts of other um, admixture from like uh, North Africa. And uh, very, you know, trace results, uh, very low levels of sometimes like uh, kind of like Asiatic uh, admixture um, and other admixture. So, well, first I want to show you... Um, the, my previous results. So, and I made a video about that, why I was questioning it, because I didn't really know what Armenia and Cyprus are, why, why they would put Armenia and Cyprus together um, still baffles me. Um, I don't understand it. Uh, I also don't understand North Turkey um, and, and Arabia and why I did not get any Levant, um, which just is just doesn't doesn't seem uh, accurate to me 
And then I got 17.2%, you know, Iberian Peninsula, 15.9% South Italy, 5% Tuscany, 2.9% North Italy, 12.7% Northeast Europe, and 1.7% North Africa. And so that was my, uh, those were my previous uh, results. And then let's see what I get with the recent update. And so my new up, updated February 5th, 2020. So my new up is uh, my South Italy increased a lot. And now it's 51.3%. Uh, my, nor my Northeast Europe went up a, a bit. North Turkey went up a little bit. Arabia went up a little bit. And, and then I finally get Levant, but it's only 6.3%. North Africa is about the same. And so I'm also going to show you uh, my parents' results. So let's see. I believe this was my dad's results on the previous one. Got a lot of Armenian Cyprus. Again, both my parents, Ashkenazi Jews. Arabia. Uh, sort of similar to me, you know, South Italy, Iberian Peninsula, Tuscany, Northeast Europe. And this, this was my mom's results in the previous uh, reading in Cyprus. Uh, she got Levant, 9.7%, Arabia, 6.1%. Um, and then the Europe South was sort of similar, Iberian Peninsula, South Italy, Sardinia, Europe East, Northeast Europe, Baltics. Okay, so let's take a look at my parents' results for, with the upgrade. Uh, my dad got a lot of, um, let's see. Okay, there it is. So my dad got a lot of South Italy, just like me, 59.1%. Uh, and he also got Cyprus, 10.3%. Um, he got Northeast Europe, 16.7%. Arabia, 6.8%. Kurdish, 5.2%. And only 1.8% and Levant. So 5.2% Kurdish. I do not get that. 10.3% Cyprus. I do not get that. And then so my mom, she got 40.3% 40, 40. South Caucasus. I didn't get any of that. No South Caucasus. And she got 13.8% Levant, 11.11% 11 .11 Arabia. Um, 20, only 22.1% South Italy. 10.4% um, no, Northeast Europe and 2.3% North Africa. Again, this is my mom's results. So, what I think is that um, they're just sort of like, um, I don't know. I just think that they're, they're just not getting like uh, refining and separating the regions enough. And it just doesn't align with a lot of people's ancestry. And like South Italy is a good example um, because, you know, there's been a bunch of modern genetic studies that have been done on SSI, which is short for Sicilians and Southern Italians. Um, and the, in, in general, the Italian peninsula and how, you know, it's a very mixed population. Um, and they are very close to um, Ashkenazi Jews, but you know they're when well, you're talking about uh, like uh, Southern Italians and um, Sicilians and Maltese and Greek Islanders such as Crete, Greek Cretans, uh, Kos, um, you know other Greek I Islanders, um, they're very close to Western Jews, um, including Ashkenazim. And they also have a lot of um, a decent amount of Levantine Middle Eastern admixture. So what I think could be happening here 
uh, because I, you know, it's just, to me, it's just doesn't make sense that I would get more North Turkey or Arabia and Arabia than Levant is that I think some of that Levant is kind of, um, being hidden or masked by Southern Italy. It's by, it's being consumed by South Italy. Uh, the, the 51.3 percent Levant, uh, South Italy. I think some of it that is my is my Levantine, Middle Eastern ancestry, um, and you know I'm just going to sh show you just an example uh, of uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find this study here. So this is a study from 2019. A uh, very recent uh, genetic study uh, published in um, Science Advances called titled Population Structure Modern Day Italians Reveals Patterns of Ancient and Archaic Ancestries in Southern Europe. And I'm going to leave a link to this study below. And I'm just going to show you one. I'm not going to show you any of the figures, but I'm just going to um, read one section here. It says Italian clusters separated into three main groups, Sardinia, Northern, North Central, North of Italy, and Southern Italy, South, Central, South Italy, and Sicily. The first two were close to populations originally from Western Europe, while the last was closer to Middle Eastern groups. And so it sort of goes, goes into you know, some of their methodology um, and some of their analysis and goes into sort of why, um, you know, that so Southern Italy is closer to Middle Eastern groups. Um, so, and I did my, I just did my own analysis uh, using the, um, the uh, global 25 coordinates and the um, the uh, global uh, I used um, mo uh, modern scale global 25 modern scaled average coordinates for Sicilian East and Sicilian West and in the target from the global 25 coordinates and then in the source I ran it uh, against um, Global 25 Ancient um, scaled average coordinates. And then I also ran it against uh, modern Global 25 modern uh, scaled average coordinates. And um, I want to show you the population values with the Monte calculator. Um, and here is in for modern for Sicilian West. And, you know, it could be an overfit there. Obviously, you know, it's a pretty low distance there. But, you know, they get Samaritan as their top population there at 16.8. Now, Samaritan um, is uh, about as Levantine as you can get for uh, an also Lebanese Christians. Um, in particular, uh, but Samaritans, almost entirely Levantine, you know, descendants of the um, ancient Israelites um, and sort of uh, the uh, source population, uh, same source population ethnic stock as pre-exilic Jews. So modern Jews share a lot of genetic affinity with Samaritans as well. Um, but, you know, that's Sicilian West, Samaritan. Yeah. And there's Karaite Egypt, 5.4. Iranian Jew, 4.4. Moroccan Jew, 2.4. Egyptian, 1.8. Iraqi Jew, 1.6. So, yeah, I mean, there's the Levantine right there um, in, in that run. And Sicilian East, there's Samaritan as well, 19.4. Right after Italian Bergamo, there's Romania, Romania, Romania Jew, Romania Jew, uh, Greek Jews to 12.8. Romania um, are a very Levantine. And 
And this is comparing to ancient, the ancient, like I was telling you. And this is Sicilian West. And there you go. A after the Anatolia, Anatolia Barkin, Anatolia came in Calo Hoyuk or whatever. Uh, you get Levant, Israel, Ashkelon, Late Bronze Age, 6.4. And then there's Levant, Israel, Middle to Late Bronze Age, 3.4. And there's Levant, Lebanon, uh, Middle Ages, Near East, 2.4. There's Levant, PPNC, 1.0. And here's Sicilian East. And there's uh, third down, Levant, Canaanite, Middle Bronze Age, 7.8. And there's Levant, Israel, Ashkelon, Late Bronze Age, 2.6. So, yeah, so they get, you know, they get some of these Levant results in ancient and in modern. And, you know, in terms of distance... There's distance for Sicilian West, Sicilian East. It was kind of interesting though. Here, it, uh, that's for modern, but this is ancient. And right after for Sicilian West, right after Italy, Rome, late antiquity, you get Levant, Lebanon, Middle Ages mixed. And Sicilian East. There you go. There, there's Levant, Lebanon, Middle Ages mixed. And then a little farther down, you see there's Levant, Israel, Ashkelon, Iron Age 1. So, yeah, basically, I cannot, I still cannot recommend Living DNA. I think they got a lot of work to do. Thanks for watching.